to Adidas because the business wasn't doing that well, so we decided to start doing some pretzels. We just looked at what we could possibly sell online or to other areas of Montreal, and we looked at granola or strudel, pastries, cakes, but we realized that we do pretzels best, and it's something different, and there's nobody in St. Leonard doing pretzels, let alone Montreal. There's a few places, but ours are different. We know we have a good product. And so we just, we started, we said, let's come up with some different flavors to cater to different kinds of people and different tastes, and, and it, it was born from there. Yeah, we just decided that salt wasn't enough, so we took a whole bunch of things at the bakery. We do whole wheat, we do white, and we did flax, but the flax didn't work out well, so we just basically did whole wheat and white to start off with. The salt is a mainstay, everybody eats salt, so we decided to do that one, and then chocolate came in. Mm -hmm. We have a good chocolate there, and we said people might like sweets, so we did chocolate. We said we're Montreal, we're Quebec, so maple syrup came to mind, cheddar and chili, and so we've got poppy seeds, sesame seeds. Um, the latest thing that we've started is a pretzel bagel, because we had it Montreal there. Montreal makes bagels, so Montreal we, decided, bagels. we tried a pretzel bagel one time. I, I felt like having a, a bagel and I didn't feel like going out to get one so we just made one and it turned out really well. Yeah. Like yeah. We started giving them to our friends when they'd come over for our kids, our baby's birthday parties or for parties they were having and from there it just started snowballing and it started growing and we got some orders. We did some youth football events, um, some Sejep and high school fundraisers. A couple of hockey games, a couple of... Uh, Ringette tournaments. Yeah. We, um, we've done weddings, we've had a few mini um, orders for mini pretzels for different weddings and baby showers, kids birthday parties and from there it's just kind of, it keeps going and going and now we're, we're doing bigger events, we've done some corporate events. It's been really hard starting a business from the ground up on something that we have no idea if it's going to work or not, uh, especially trying to fund two businesses out of the account of one business. That's been a huge challenge because you have no choice now. You have to have a website, you have to have an online presence, and it's not even just to have a page. you got to have uh, a Facebook page, you got to be on Twitter, you have to keep updating and, and keep doing things, and that's a whole job in itself. We knew we needed to change the name, we needed to change the image, we needed to kind of have something a little more professional that would be compatible to different groups of people. So for a mom or a bachelor party or a caterer, we knew we needed to have a different logo, a different name, we needed to change the website. So I started to research and what I kind of came up with quickly was that it was really expensive to do it. And then I needed to figure out how I was going to find the money to do it. So once I learned that a logo could be up to a thousand dollars alone, you know, we, we had to figure out where we were going to get the money and so we called our Federation for Small Businesses and they told me about some grants and if there's one thing I'm good at it's coming up with money where it doesn't exist. So um, we looked into the area of St. Leonard our borough to see if there was anything, um, any grants, what could I do to kind of get some money for the business. So being a female in business, uh, I had to write a business plan and I entered a contest with a company called C-Deck St. Leonard and um, it was a lot of work and I found out last week I won a bursary so that really helped us a lot. Helped us a lot. There's another one to go and that was a really a huge thing. It was a lot of work, it was kind of nerve-wracking at times. Um, but it helped us, it helped the business, it helped me kind of establish a focus for the next year of the business. We tried to think of what goes with pretzels and we said beer. Beer goes with pretzels. Lots of things go with pretzels but one thing that kept coming up is beer and we want to be in the Montreal community. We are Montreal, but we love Montreal and so we said let's kind of hit the company that is the most Montreal beer for us right now. So we went to McCausland um, we got in touch with them. Uh, it turns out the marketing team is a great group of women and I went, I took some pretzels, they were welcoming, they were great, they were helpful, how can we help you, what can we do together and we figured we're going to take some of their beer and stick it in our pretzel. We 
did a trial run. And yeah, Tony and I did a trial run with a couple of flavors of beer, and the best one that we tried was the stout beer. Yeah. And uh, it turned out really well. It made the pretzel a little bit darker, and uh, you can actually even taste the beer in it. Yeah. Lucky for us, that was kind of a, I guess that's one of their biggest sellers. And so now what's happening is they're selling them on their terrace in the Lachine Canal, which is huge for us because it's a great opportunity. And now we know that we can actually take pretty much any kind of beer and infuse it into our pretzel. I mean, it depends on the, the thickness of it and the color, but it's a great marketing tool for businesses and we can do it. It's easy for us. We just have to have the beer and nothing else changes. We bake it right in. Yep, yeah, it's all the same. So one thing that's happened for us this year is we're going to be selling our pretzels at Festival Mondial de la Bière at Place Bonaventure this year, and it's huge because we are gonna we have orders already for yeah, pretzels. Yeah, a thousand, a thousand pretzels every day. Fifteen hundred, yeah. and so for us, this is a big deal. We're going to have the opportunity to network with other beer companies now that we know we can take a beer, put it into our pretzel, or you know, beer and pretzels just go so well. We have the opportunity to be there to see the other beer companies, to see beer enthusiasts. Um, so it's it's a great great thing. It's a good opportunity for us just to see the other breweries that are there and speak to them. And yeah, we're hoping next year to have our own booth. This year we couldn't pull it off, but this we negotiated with the women who organized the event. They're really great yeah, and nice they gave us a good opportunity. And they're getting pretzels. They've never had pretzels before, so. It's kind of a win-win, and uh, we're going to see where it takes us. Yeah, we'll be there every day and see what happens. Yeah. So our goal going forward is to be known for pretzels in Montreal. We want people to stop always thinking about bagels in Montreal. We want them to start thinking about pretzels in Montreal, and more specifically, we want them to think of pretzel e companies pretzels. Right, when someone wants to have a pretzel, we want them to think of us. Yeah. We, sure they will. Yeah. we want to be kind of the number one distributor of pretzels in Montreal. I mean, going forward, who knows? Uh, maybe all of Quebec or Ontario, New Brunswick. But for now, we just want to kind of conquer Montreal. Yeah.